One of the ways that you can switch gears and change your speed when you're swimming is to change the type of kick that you're using, a two, four, or six beat kick. And you'll have seen some of those videos that we've put out before on YouTube and I'll provide links for those below. We recently had Ryan Hodion on our podcast and he's the biomechanist for N-Swiss, which is the New South Wales Institute of Sport. And he works with Kate and Bronte Campbell. He's worked with elite swimmers and he's really at the top of his game when it comes to biomechanics in swimming. And he spoke about one of the things that he tries to get the swimmers that he works with to do. And even the swimmers at at the very top end find this hard in the beginning. And that's what I've found with coaching a lot of swimmers over the last few years at clinics and camps is for you to be able to develop your gears with your two, four and six beat kick, that takes time and it's not going to happen straight away. But once you can develop that, then it makes it very easy to incrementally increase the speed that you swim while minimizing the effort required to do that. And the set that Ryan tries to get get his swimmers to be able to do is this. So it's, it's 100 meters. For the first 50, what he'll have them do is swim a third of that 50 at a a slow stroke rate, a third of that 50 at their medium stroke rate, and then the last third of that 50 at a faster stroke rate. So sort of slow, medium, fast in terms of their stroke rate. Now, when they increase their speed, the aim is to maintain the same type of kick, whether that be a four beat or a six beat, but to be able to keep that same type of kick as they change their stroke rate. Then when they make the turn for that last 50 meters, what he wants them to do is to sit at that middle stroke rate. And for the first third of that lap, he wants them to have a two beat kick. Then for the second third, a four beat. And for the second third, a six beat kick. But all while maintaining that same stroke rate on that last 50. And it's short, it's only 100 meters, but it can be very, very challenging for people to do. And even you said at the very top level, some of these swimmers, when they first do it, they're not able to achieve it. But over the course of a few weeks and a few months, they're able to develop that. And what I've found over the course of the last six to 12 months as I've focused on this a lot more, is it really helps you when it comes to just changing the pace and being able to sit very comfortably at those different speeds. So if it's something that you are looking to work on, we have a little bit of guidance on this inside our membership. But if it's something that you're looking to work on, that can be a set to work towards. Now, how do you know what stroke rate you're holding? Well, it can be hard if you don't have a coach taking your rating. But a way that you can do it is if you know that you're seven out of 10 effort stroke rate, let's say it's around 60 strokes per minute, you could set your tempo trainer at that rating. And for the first third, when you're looking to go a little bit slower, you can just you can you can change your rating where you're actually looking to just sit below it. Then for that middle third, you'll match the tempo trainer. And then for the last third, you'll be a little bit quicker than it. And then on that last lap, the way that you can do it is just sit at that, that medium stroke rate, which might be say 60 strokes per minute, but you're changing the type of kick that you're, that you're using. So that's a, a, an easy thing that you can try, but you'll probably find that it's a little bit difficult to do in the beginning. Now have a look at our video below, which covers the two, four and six beat kick, because that will show you exactly what it is and how you can achieve it. But know that it's probably gonna take some time, but it is worth developing in your stroke. If you enjoy these videos, but you're not exactly sure what you should be working on to get faster, have a look at our Effortless Swimming video membership where you can choose exactly what it is that will make you quicker. And for a lot of people, that can be their catch in their pool. For a lot of people, it can be their open water skills. And inside the membership, you'll find exactly what you need to get faster. Provide a link for the membership below. I'll see you next week with another video. Please like and subscribe and share it with someone who you know is looking to improve their swimming, in particular, their kick timing and their two, four and six beat kick.